Hey folks, I'm Vilong. I'm going to show you how to use Postman to run SOAP APIs. I'm going to use a calculator web service that's available online that you can use to also test web service on your site as well. So I'm using the Postman's tool. So the Postman tool. Uh, so in this, I'm just going to quickly show you sort of how to engage in a SOAP API and what you need to, to engage with it. Uh, and also some of the operations that you can typically use within a web service. Uh, so this is the calculator one that's available online, as I mentioned. Um, take note of the web link here, because uh, later what we will be using is this web link uh, with an additional, I guess, WDSL um, text that we added at the end of it, but it works with or without that, basically. Um, so there's a few functions that we have available here. We've got add, divide, multiply, and subtract. I'm going to show you how to use each of these. Um, it's pretty straightforward in terms of how it is used. Uh, you just got to make sure your settings in Postman are set correctly, and then everything should function as per usual. So I'm going to use this uh, request body here, or this detail here, which I'm going to put into my request to the endpoint. Uh, so if I log into Postman, I preset this to that endpoint that I was mentioning earlier. I've set this to post, I've set this to XML. Um, I've copy and pasted this text that you saw earlier. And what I'm going to do is actually just run this in this Postman. So you notice here that 110 comes out of that. Um, you can change some of the views below in terms of how you want to view the outputs or the response. Um, but basically, if I change this figure to say 11, you'll notice that the function I'm using is addition. So um, 100 plus 11 equals 111. If I change it back to oh, change it back to 10, you will see 110. Um, so key things to note when you look at this is you'll notice that I have this request body here as I send to this endpoint. Um, the main reason is the way that SOAP APIs work is it reads the, the body and, and looks at the function that's inside the body. So in this case, it's add. Uh, if I show you some of the other ones that are pre-populated for the other um, operations that I'm, I wanted to show you, it's divide. You'll notice this says the word divide here. Multiply has the word multiply here. And the subtract one has the subtract word here. But you'll notice in all of these, you'll see that the endpoint actually remains the same in each of them. Yep, so there's only one way that the, the I guess you could say the endpoint will know what you're looking to um, to operate with using the operations, is for, and that's via the body basically. Uh, which is why if I show you this, uh, so 100 divided by 10 should equal 10, right? Yep, there you go. So, and the way that the, the endpoint knew this is because it saw the divide um, operation here. And then the multiply one will be the same thing. You should get 1,000. Uh, and the way that, again, it, it knew that, that it's engaging with a multiply operation is because you put up, uh, multiply inside the body. Uh, and I'll show you the same with subtract. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Again, it's just really making sure that the setup is done correctly. So you notice here my header is text forward slash XML. And then the body has this. Uh, I'll just show you just using a copy and paste of this out that I already pre-populated for you. So it's got the placeholder details, so I'll just put 100, and I'll let, just for the sake of something different, I'll do 200. So 100 plus 200 should equal 300, and that's what we got there. Yep. So that's pretty much how you use it. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.